All right, we are at the end of February 2024, and we have been getting some pretty good temperatures. We're uh, gonna be hitting 80 degrees today. That sounds really good. Hey, friends and family, if you're just joining the channel, welcome, this is A.A. Ron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard, and today we are talking to you about this beautiful specimen. It's got several names all across the world. English, we call it the drumstick tree or the ben oil tree. It's also known as the moringa tree. And we've got the red variety. This tree puts on red bean pods, especially this time of year. These are the little drumsticks. During the summertime, this thing flowers again and it produces the bean pod, which are the little drumsticks. And they, they produce a nice viable seed and this tree we're actually growing it by seed, and it's a true seed, little red stems on them. So that's good. It's good to know that this tree is a true seed. So what we're doing this year is pretty much the same thing we're gonna be doing every single year, because it works, is we're waiting for those morning temperatures to get out of the 40s. We need this tree to start waking up, and that's gonna be happening really soon. Sometime in March, this tree's gonna be starting to wake up it's already putting on some growth here. You can see the little, little sprouts coming out. That's telling me that this tree is starting to wake up and it's enjoying these warm temperatures, but we've also got some cool downs back down to about 70 in the upper 60s. So this tree's not gonna be waking up entirely, but we will be pruning this tree. In fact, we've got a playlist on this tree alone, especially the pruning video. I'm sure you've seen that one where we prune this tree this tree's pushing its, I think this is going to be the seventh year in the ground now. They do really good. In fact, they do much better in the ground than they do in a pot. They have a taproot system. And that taproot system is really good at mining minerals and everything that it needs for growth. So we really don't do much care for this tree other than just prune it once a year. And then we harvest from it every single day of the year. We add these leaves to our salad. It's a very high fiber, high nutrient dense food. And these leaves and the flowers and the flower buds, they have a, a high concentration of sugar, especially this time of the year, where these flowers, they can make tea out of. Just get yourself a cup of hot water Pull some of these little flowers off. You can eat these things just the way that they are. Put these little flowers in a nice hot cup of water and some lemon, some tea, some lemon and uh, some honey. You've got yourself a high nutrient dense herbal tea. So I just wanted to answer some questions on this tree. We do get a lot of questions on this tree, especially regarding the winter time here in Arizona. We've got two hard freezes in fact we got down to 26 degrees a couple times this year in january we had a really really cold snap followed by a bunch of rain so this tree because it's so big it creates its own little microclimate and it shields the core of the tree from the frost and the cold so that's why we don't prune this thing it protects itself especially when it's this big all these branches and was all of those leaves. This tree finally went dormant. They all protect the core of the tree and that's what you want to do. You want to protect the core of the tree, especially if you live in colder climates. We live in growing zone 9B in the Arizona desert, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And we, uh, we have microclimate on our property. So we got down to 26 degrees, that was cold. But this tree just handled it just fine because we don't prune it. First two, maybe three years, you want to baby these things, especially if you're living in a cold, colder climate. You want to protect them from the frost. They can handle the cold, but they prefer hot climates. So if you're growing in less than nine, I wouldn't suggest growing these unless you have a greenhouse and you can protect them in the wintertime. And even there, they've got to be in the ground to get this big. These things can grow up to 16 meters tall. That's like almost 50 feet. It's crazy how tall these things can get if you don't prune them. Just let them go wild. 
they've originated in like Pakistan, Nepal, northern India. So they really are a subtropical tree. Like growing zone 10 is where they're happiest at. They'll grow 365 days a year. And this year we got uh, we got a little dormant on this year. We didn't get any death. Everything's still very flexible up there. In fact, it's still pushing growth. Way up there, still pushing growth at the very tips where it was exposed to the frost and the hard freeze. So this tree did really well. So stay tuned. We're gonna be pruning this tree really soon. This tree's gonna be looking completely different. It's gonna look like a stump with just a few nursing branches. And that is it, all this, all this, all of that is going away every single time we prune this thing. All that's going away, it's gonna be down here. It's just gonna look like, it's gonna look terrible until we start getting that growth. And then this thing's just gonna green up. It's gonna get dense. It's gonna look beautiful soon. So make sure you're giving this video a nice like. We do appreciate that. Share this with anybody else that you know that's interested in growing Moringa. If you've got any Moringa trees, let us know down in the comments. If you're just passing by, consider subscribing. And if you're feeling frisky, hit that bell icon that we'll be notified of all of our videos. And if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. We do love hearing from all of our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.